100 by two ranks. <laughs> but this, as I say, let's just see if he's ready. Nagano says he's ready. Fucking hell, here we go. <laughs> the fucking onslaught continues. Right, what did I do wrong the last game, in the early game? Too passive, too respectful. I was too passive and respectful. No more will I be. But then I get to get tired after 10 minutes, so I do have to pace myself also. It's a fucking fine motherfucking balance, my friends. A fine balance of res If you have to... And that's what... I mean, DevM analysed one of my games last weekend. What he didn't understand is I have to do things to allow myself to keep up with the game. He was like, Hey, why are you in this garrison? But in a Portuguese accent. And, and, and I'm, I'm there watching his analysis. By the way, it was amazing. 90% of the points he made were incredibly valid. But I'm, I know why I do that. It's so I have time to fucking breathe. You know? Okay. What the fuck am I doing? Here we go. I'm going to set it over there, actually. I need to make my my focus to be more over this side of the map. These guys are going to leapfrog and go over there. I'm going to put a piece of cover there, actually. I think that's a pretty wise idea. It stops people getting in there as easily. They have to vault at least, lol. Oh, but then he can just sit on it, can't he? I'm not going to do that. Change my mind. The fuck is that ability? Oh, grenade package. Have you seen the icon for it? What? Well, it's, it's gone all fucked up. It's a half track or some shit. Right. Let's go hunting, shall we? See what we've got. Gonna leave me exposed. Third conscript can come up there. Well, that's successful hunting. No re fucking respect anymore. I'm just gonna play fucking aggressive like a psychopath, man. No more bullshit. These fucking stern pioneers have hacks, man. They're un invincible. The enemy has taken our supply sector. I should have used tap map for that. I'm an idiot. Comrades, we have now installed a field hospital at headquarters. Is at risk. 
Good. Everybody's still alive. Great success. I haven't got any victory points, so that's bad. Let's rectify that as soon as we can. Combat engineers are standing by. Okay, let's put this here actually. Okay, we're stabilized so far. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was terrible. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. Move now. Okay. Flames. Let's get going, comrade. Uh we will see moving out. You do it. Don't do that. Enemy forces are neutralizing a sector. Conscripts here. You need destination confirmed. We have it. You need it. I'm going to retreat that guy because I need somebody to fucking build me tier 2 ASCP. It will be part of the motherland. It will be ours. Okay. Get aggressive actually, get up here. Uh, I'm being a noob there. I'm going to just forsake that because I haven't got that fuel anymore anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm going to push to the, the other side. We are losing supplies to the enemy. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. No, 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 no. I don't need that. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, this is fine. This is absolutely fine. Let's um, cancel that, get that. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. I'm getting the T-70 out. Next. Oh, 
back to base. Enemy forces capturing supply sector. Fire upon him, you fuck face. Got any minesweepers, but fuck it. Need all the help I can get. Bad fight. Really could have done with um So, I thank him for the plot game, but I clearly got fucked there. It's it's the brutal cold hand of attrition. It, it wears you down and fucks you after a while. I, th I thought I played all right, though, to be honest. Uh, I, I got some map control off him for a while. Well, I do, I do, Pally Man. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Psychologically, it's it's fine. No, they don't play a different guy. I completely disagree with that. Completely disagree. They play, they play the exact same game as us. They're they're just mortals, the same as us, but they make far less mistakes. That's all it is. Um, it, just constantly making far less mistakes over and over. Thanks, uh, Vagavon Badagrika. <sighs> May, I just completely disagree with you. I'm not going to agree with you. If you think that they're some kind of demigod mega people, they're not. They're not. I mean, just look at... Um, look at fucking GB Hooligan. GB Hooligan in 2017 went best of... Uh, went all five games against Aim Stronger, two-time world champion... Aimstrong during that time was just off the back of uh, great performance in Operation Charlie Fox getting to the final. He was a legendary tournament player of epic proportions. Uh, GB Hooligan was a top 300, maybe 200, 2 versus 2 player. It, 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 you, there are levels to this, but you can only get better by uh, having no fear and wanting to vastly improve your play. I 
I disagree, mate. I absolutely disagree. If we analyse this, there will be massive things I did wrong that led to that base lock. It, it's not like Nagorno is a superior human being to me or some shit. He, I, I, he, made, he did everything right. I made some massive mistakes. And I'll prove it to you. We can see what the massive mistakes are. It's all it is. It's, you know, you need to have less fear and less respect. Obviously, respect. I mean, these players are awesome. Um, but, I mean, if we watch it back, you'll see what I mean. If you give me a break, I'll challenge you, Tootster. See you later, Pally Man. And don't be upset that I disagree with you, please, because it is just opinions at the end of the day. Um, I, I played on the wrong version of the mod, by the way. It should have been the... Uh, I don't know who Tutor is. I've never heard of him, to be honest. No offence to you. But um, I actually find it far less demoralising to lose to somebody far better than me than to lose to somebody of a similar rank. So, yeah. Anyway, let, let's, let's watch this back, shall we? Um... Let's uh, have a look at this version. So this is Nagano playing as his favourite commander, as his favourite faction. So immediately that makes me feel happier. Now, my prioritisation this time is obviously going to be, again, these four territory sectors. Because Anomaly feels if you can control those four, you can stay in the game. And this is the, the weak link, obviously. We have taken it. Let's analyse. Uh, let's get past all the shit. I want to analyse infantry engagements. I don't care about this bullshit. Now, my first plan, by the way, is to find the Stern Pioneers with the conscripts and bully them. But I really do suffer. Somehow, it's just the health on these things really stays quite high. So I'm, I don't know why I'm chilling there. I'm going to wait for the, them to come around. And I was happy with this. This is why it ended up being 11 minutes and not an 8 minute game. It's because I was able to find the Stern Pioneers and bully them out of position. It stays behind the battle. Folks here has come in. I don't want to advance on that. I do, I think about it, but I suppose I'm just fucking toy, like, trying to see what he does, I guess. Um, hoping he comes out of there. Meanwhile, what else has happened? He's got one font screen here capping his fuel. I've got my fuel. So, all in all, although he was able to get more capping down in that one victory point, that's all he's done, really. Uh, no, he's got, he's got two points more than me right now, and I've just taken one of them. So, first two minutes... Well played. Stern Pioneers come out of the picture here. How fast do I react? Let's go down to one second. Fast! As soon as I see the problem... No, I've already started to move, I think. So that was fortuitous for me. He advances. The health on these wankers just never goes away. Hoping to just get one kill here. And I didn't fucking get it, so that's bad. Conscript's going to come and take this cut off. Right. I don't know why I'm chilling out here. These should have been active. This is bad play. This is bad play here. I'm hoping to keep these points by just being st stationary, but I don't know. I could have put them here behind that green cover of these conscripts, and they would have also covered here. So I think that this is dodgy. Should have brought them in to, uh, to link up with these guys. Then I would have killed some of these stern pioneers, and it might have gone differently. First bad play of the game was uh, having these guys all joined up. And again, as DevM says, focusing on a victory point for no reason. That's good, taking the cutoff, of course, completely nullifying everything he's done. I've kept my own cutoff to this point, so fuel dynamic-wise, I've done all right. Finally, uh, this conscript, I think, I don't know. Where's he going to go, though? I'm trying to back away from this. I'm trying to get to... I should have built some green cover here. If I'd built some green cover here earlier on, I could have soft retreated away. I'm trying to soft retreat my little ass away get behind light cover but I'm not sure it's going to help. Maybe I should have carried on. Maybe get to that house or something. I don't know. Focus fight the stern pioneers of course. Finally kill one of them. It's been fucking two minutes of fighting. Um, still focus fire. Those are going to just shoot him. He knows that he doesn't have to worry about these. He knows they get focus fired. He's got that kind of level of intuition. So now I back away. Now I think I needed to do that. No, I should have tried to focus these a bit more, maybe. I don't know. It was all risky. 
I don't know. What's the health like on these guys? It's quite low. If I'm pushing in with this conscript though, I might as well just stay back, but I just want to get some more kills on the Stern Pioneer. Maybe, I don't know what, I don't know what. The good news is though, these guys are capping. Um, I think they go to the fuel next. Folks Grenadiers meanwhile are capping all the way up there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's, he's doing, is he doing more with less, would you say? Four Folks Grenadiers against four cons. Now this is where the tables turn for OKW's favor because he's got the Stern Pioneers and I've got combat engineers, and all, and all else is pretty equal. Now I just want to fucking shoot these stern pine. I even think of just standing still and hoping to kill one of them, because I know he's got low health, so I just want to fucking get a kill. I finally get it, and the health damage, and finally force him away. Meanwhile, I've lost another conscript, and to keep the fuel for long, so I was right to push the conscript in there, but I'm, I think that was well played, actually. I'm going to give myself that one. I think that was the correct decision. That was the correct decision, I'm going to say. Supply track. First trendy is reclaimed. That's good. Taking his cut off against him there. That wouldn't be that uncommon to top level play. I mean, let's have a look at tap mapping. What is uncommon between my game and his game? The fact that he's been able to take these points here and these points here is the difference. He's got double munitions coming in now. <sighs> so, I mean, what could I have done? Better, I think, better decision making around here when I put those conscripts behind that bathtub. If I built some cover here and if I'd put the conscripts over here to fight against when the stern pioneers were there, I think I may have been able to possibly keep, you know, take one of these points, maybe this one. I don't know, fucking hell. But anyway, these foot screenies always would have capped up there. So, all in all, I think if I'd done things better, I might just have that one victory point perhaps rather than he has all three. Uh, idle units and base-wise, I mean, they're coming out fairly fast. They're not... He's idle now. Waiting till they're all grouped up. Am I? Seemingly not. Idle, 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 idle. I mean, what am I doing that's so fucking important? Oh, was I trying to keep him safe? I think I'm trying... No, I'm just shit, aren't I? This is bad. This is really bad. Seconds lost, absolute just seconds lost of idle units. Why Why don't I know that they're there though? Do you know why it is? Because I'm not using tap map enough. So through not using tap map enough, I just don't have the awareness. And I'm relying on my brain. There, they finally get going. So I'm just losing seconds here. I was, this is, I think about soft retreating him away. <laughs> it doesn't help though, so I'm really relying on these folks going to die. Meanwhile, I do see this. Just about, I think. I think I was lucky to keep these guys alive. Could have gone better, couldn't it? Anyway, try and get this back now. I go for another combat engineer at this point. Maybe when this guy was fucking idle in base, he should have built me tier 2. Instead of building an extra combat engineer. Maybe that's what could have happened there. Let's get past this bit now, this is just nothing for a while. So I've got my moments of breathing room. What do I do? I go for the victory points, both of them. Go for my fuel with the weakest squad. Go forward with the stronger squads and go for the victory points. You need something New combat engineer takes that and then he thinks about taking this, but maybe I could have built tier 2 in this time, I don't know. Idle unit and base, idle unit and base. A little bit better that time. Mind you, that's times 2 speed. Right, I realise that this is a bad engagement, so I move away from that. He's just firing straight on me. It's interesting though, because if I move to here, it's not that bad anymore. Like, that angle there. But then again, what's that doing for me? So I think about taking the sandbags, but then the sandbags wouldn't be much better. Oh no, they group quite well behind the sandbags. So I could have taken the sandbags there, uh, but then I leave myself exposed. I don't know. Did he see? He must have seen this. He must have seen that the combat engineer was planting, I guess. Ah, <laughs> yeah, he did. He just saw it, that little fuck. He just about saw it. Oh, my gosh. 
It was obvious because of how they were grouped. If they're in an idle kind of capping state, they're all like... They take up that much room. But if they've been planting a mine, they take up that much room. So you can tell. These guys, Atlantic Sandbag, finally taking that munitions and my own munitions. And, yeah... Using radio silence. Not that I use tap map anyway. It's the most useless thing against me. Well, it makes you move super quick, though. Oh, and he's looking to get a cut off here. He doesn't have the infiltration nades yet, though. I see it quite quickly, I felt. And I think about hard retreat. I'm trying to get behind this point. Meanwhile, what's this engagement? Oh, yeah, I'm up against the stone pioneers. Fair enough. Look, get behind the light cover. Fair enough. And a green cover battle here. These guys could have started planting the buildings. But then my T70 timing was good. It's just I got bum rushed. Pushed forward past that. I think this these guys still are on the flame damage. So I put, should have pushed further. Or even tried to get to that point. So, yeah, th that's a miscal. I should have spotted that if I'd gone around here or dodged this way and gone there, that would have worked out better. That's like thinking two moves ahead in chess. So I should have thought, oh yeah, dodge and then move here. But instead, I'm just a noob, so I just run at them like mad idiot. And I actually ended up staying in the flame damage, which is bad. But these things happen in such a quick amount of time, it's so difficult. I don't know why I thought about staying there. Meanwhile, I forced away the stern pioneer. Upon forcing that away, I probably should have gone for the cutoff. I think that would have been a good move. Um, yeah, should have gone for the cutoff. I don't know why I stayed grouped. The enemy has taken our supply sector. But... You know. Yeah, that's dodgy, that is. So what do I do instead? Go forward to no man's land? Go for this cutoff? Oh yeah, I go for this cutoff because that's becoming his new fuel point. That makes sense, actually. Fair enough, I'll take that. That's pretty clever of me. Go for his cutoff, take it. So when he caps this fuel point, it doesn't mean anything. And I'm capping his fuel point. Blah, but I don't finish the cap. Aha, I should have pulled these guys up. Bad play. The uh, Is it, though? No, they were all right being there, and but from this perspective, it looks like this combat engineer is very far forward. So maybe I should have joined the conscripts up with them, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's see what the reaction times on this guy is like. I think I don't react. Oh, I hard retreat. Okay. Could have bought some time there. Maybe it would have stopped him getting his fuel point. I don't know. These, This is bad by me as well. This is where I start losing it. Look, I'm pushing forward. He's behind green cover. It's shit. You know, if you want to, if you want to unroot this, the best thing to do, by the way, is go for that garrison, most likely. Mind you, it's got one window. That would be bad. It's got one fucking window. But even even so, I could I could go around the garrison, get to these points, perhaps. That would be all right. I realise that, and I hard retreat away, F losing time, losing everything. This is making him feel super confident now he's got the flak out. So that's a big error there. I, I, I should have seen that a million miles away. I should never have even pushed there. I should have pushed over here. Um, then again, the flak is coming out. But even so, I mean, what about the time? Yeah, I've got enough manpower for the time. No. The Zis should already have been out. This is bad. This is bad. The, the Zis should have already been out like when I said... Um, it should have already been out. What's that flag doing there? It's weird. <sighs> yeah, do you remember when I said that combat engineer, this one, should have planted tier two? That shouldn't be there, and this 495 manpower should have been converted into a Zisk gun already, meaning that this thing's first arrival should have been met with a Zisk shell to the face. So you can, I mean, you can clearly see in the first five minutes, I'm. Pip, I'm I'm spit, you know, talking about small things I've done wrong, but it quickly becomes much more than that, doesn't it? I mean, the timing of that is horrendous. Look, I hit 500 manpower, and then I think of a Maxim first. That's just shit. Why do I even get halfway to building the Maxim? Bad idea. I cancel it, but holy fuck, it takes me a while for my retarded brain to kick into action. This mine doesn't do anything. I'm really surprised by that. I wish I'd planted him there and him there, though. It's a very good place for a mine. Um, even better than putting them there, actually. I did have the munitions as well. I should have done that. All right. 
what I'm doing there. It's bad play. Black Hawk traps out now. And you can quickly see how he's just going to steamroll me. I mean, the Ziz does come out, but it, it's, it's over, basically, by this point. And you can see why it's over.